a my H&M order came today perfect I can show you guys what I picked up hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to a haul so i thought i'd film a what's new in my wardrobe haul because i have picked up a lot of clothes over the last i want to say six weeks um some of these pieces are recent and some of them i've had for a while and they're all from like every store there's not one particular store so i thought i'm just going to show you guys what i've been picking up and what i intend to sort of like style them with so if you guys enjoyed watching this video make sure to like comment and subscribe as always and check out my instagram so you can see how i style all of these pieces and without further ado let's get into the video so the first item that i picked up is this brown trench which is this chocolate brown trench leather jacket i saw that in the most random order the leather brown trench in this gorgeous chocolate colour I have actually already worn this you guys would have probably already seen it but it is stunning I've literally worn this quite a lot already I got it in the size 4 and it wasn't the petite range just a normal um, the normal range and it actually fits me pretty nicely it's quite long but it comes to like my ankle length but I'll insert an image of what it looks like on quite a lot of you actually asked me where this was from when I posted it 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 is just beautiful I love brown like I love chocolate in the winter so as you can see my phone case is also brown and my jumper oh my god yeah I'm loving brown at the minute so yeah I've got this brown leather trench jacket and then sticking to like the browns and the creams I picked up this sweater which you guys probably have already seen in one of my vlogs because I did feature like a mini haul in that but I thought I'll add it into this as well because these are the things that I'm loving at the moment so it's just this like leopard print I'm not somebody who's actually in leopard print but for some like into leopard print but for some reason I really like this so I picked this up in a size large I don't actually know why I picked it up in a large but it fits me perfectly anyway so and it has these like strings at the back so it is backless but um i'm going to probably wear a gino over it anyway so it doesn't really matter you can totally wear like a bodysuit underneath to cover up the back if you wanted to but yeah that's super cute this was 27.99 which i kind of think is kind of expensive i'd expect it to be like 19.99 but nevertheless it is super cute and then from h&m i picked up this fleece hoodie i don't know if you guys can see this this is the fleece like quite a thin hoodie because I did get matching leggings to wear with this this was $17.99 and I picked it up in a size small because I wanted it to be a little bit longer but I love the colour of this can you see that the colour of this is so nice it's like a mauvey taupey colour again sticking with the neutrals I think pretty much everything in this haul is going to be neutral with like one or two colour but anyway, this with with these sports, I think they're sports leggings or maybe then I don't know, but they look like this. It doesn't actually come as a set, I just matched it as a set. But the only thing I will say is these leggings, like, I haven't worn them yet and I've just realised that it's already started to, like, bubble up, which is super annoying. I'll probably just go and exchange it for another pair but to be fair they kept selling out but yeah this with this hoodie that's a pretty good match not gonna lie in the colours they're pretty much the same colour I've just thought with like long white socks and some chunky trainers would look really cute and a big teddy coat just cosy like sometimes I like to wear lounge and just make it look dressy so yeah that's that did pick up extra small in the leggings and they were $17.99 and the hoodie is also $17.99 as well don't even ask me why I picked up this colour but I picked up this beanie because I literally bought the matching coloured coat and I thought it would look cute together so I mean not gonna lie this hat was actually expensive I think it was like £30 like £29.99 
it doesn't have the price on it because I bought it from online um, but from H&M and it's oh it's cashmere that's probably why it's expensive can you guys but I thought this would look super cute with with this huge green coat like it's long but it's not floor length long it's long as in like thigh length long um but yeah i just thought this color is so nice and autumnal with the matching beanie on top and maybe like an all black outfit underneath or even like an all beige outfit would look super nice a sports leggings in beige the matching beige hoodie and then this big coat on top <sighs> i don't know why i just thought it looks really cute but I did get this in an extra small but it is huge like I don't know if it even looks okay huge or if it just looks like I'm drowning but I got this from H&M and it was on the expensive side again I'm pretty sure it was a hundred pound I will try to find like the image on the website for it which I don't understand why H&M have these I don't know if they're like a certain range or something but there's a couple of like their puffer coats that are really expensive and I think this is called the down hood or downfall coat um but i just like the color because i don't really have colorful coats they're kind of like basic but yeah um and it comes with a hood which is what i needed so yeah that is super cute should we try on this hat is this gonna ruin my hair oh my god i mean of course i wouldn't wear it like this i mean i don't even know what's going on in my hair right now oops but this is the hat on it's quite big because you can see like all that extra material but with the right outfit i think it will look cool this hat is kind of cute it's kind of a vibe it's very cozy by the way guys my lip combo before anyone asks is candy velvet matte by glossies which is sold out i don't know why i still wear it because i should show you guys another color but coffee lip liner my favorite combo but i'll probably see the next vlog i'll wear another color that is actually in stock okay and next from h&m i picked up a black version of like the sports leggings which are just basic like so if you guys see they are really thick i'm not gonna lie h&m do the best sports leggings because for petite people as well they fit me perfectly on the length i don't know why and they're just the perfect amount of tightness that like they're actually like snug like i would wear these underneath clothes as layering pieces as well for like winter um and i just love the quality of this sports leggings like i've been buying this sports leggings for years um but i just feel like no one actually speaks about them um but yeah this is the active seamless high waist legging in the size extra small pretty sure these were around 19.99 17.99 um but i don't have the price let me see if i can actually get it up on my phone because because i've ordered some things online you see so let me see oh it's reinstalling i'm pretty sure it was like 24.99 17 one of those because that's usually their price range for the sports leggings but i'll put it up on the screen once i find it um but yeah this again just chuck on an oversized black sweater or hoodie long socks trainers i'm really into sporty vibes so that was the vision for these leggings okay and then we've got a couple of trousers i have got a lot of trousers over the last month because i feel like i have loads of tops and then i always wear the same trousers and being petite it's kind of hard to find trousers that fit you and now i've literally collected a lot to show you guys so first trousers are a straight leg cargo trouser from plt and they look like this so they have pockets on the back and also pockets down the side and they're literally just a straight leg i'll insert a picture here of me wearing them because i have worn these and these are the perfect length i got these in a size four from the petite range perfect length perfect on the base can't complain it has an elastic band so it stretches i could probably go upper size or even two if i wanted a bit more baggier but 
again can't complain they are literally perfect and i love the color of these and then we move on to some ribbed leggings if i'm not wearing leather i'm wearing ribbed leggings like i just love ribbed split leggings especially like the long ones that go over the trainers i absolutely love them so i got this pair from misguided as you can see so it's misguided just there it's in like a really light cream colour it's such a lovely colour and then they're just long and then at the bottom they split which I love again the length on these are so good everything that I wore all the trousers have a really really good length um, and I'm 5 foot 2 for reference I might be 5 foot 1 or am I 5 foot 1 I need to actually check my height because I'm sure I'm five foot one. I think I am five foot one. I haven't checked in years, so but I don't think I've grown, so I'm pretty sure I'm five foot one. But yeah, these are perfect. I'll upload a picture. I have worn these multiple ways. I've worn it with a blazer and a tank top. I've worn it with an oversized sweater, like tucked in, and then the split leggings and trainers. You could totally wear these in different ways, these with boots and with trainers. So yeah, I really like these. And then we move on to my favourite pair of jeans this year let me know if you guys agree because oh, i got these frayed white jeans can we see can we see the phrase come on focus there we go look at that and these frays go all the way down and it's a flare bottom mine are dirty because i wore flat trainers and they literally mopped the floor but if I wear my Balenciagas, which are really chunky, they're the perfect length so they don't mop the floor with them, but they still go over my trainer. But these are so stunning. I got these from Bershka. Let me show you guys properly. There, so they look like these. And then they flare out. Can we see that? Look how dirty mine are. I'm too scared to wash them because white in my household it never comes back out white so I'm too scared to wash them but they are absolutely gorgeous I'm pretty sure these were £30 and they were from the Bershka um, regular section or was it petite? it doesn't tell me if these are petite or not I feel like they're from a regular section but to be honest petite, uh, Bershka's clothes fit petite people like their jeans their normal jeans actually fit petite length very well so yeah if you're petite shop at Bershka because their jeans are actually really good um so yeah these were 29.99 and I got the size 24 34 blimey I'm so bad at this basically there's the label the euro it says 34 that's the size so I basically got not the smallest size but the second smallest size and moving on to some leather so i've been on the hunt for the perfect straight leg leather trouser for a while and they seem to be sold out everywhere in my size and all the petite leather trousers are literally sold out everywhere apologies for the lighting change i just added an orange light on because i felt like it was looking really white and blue so i apologize it's gonna annoy me now that there's two different lightings in this video Anyways, so these are the leather trousers that I picked up from PLT. They have like, can you see that? They cross over at the front, which is pretty cool about them. And the length, again, can't fault PLT's trousers. Length fit me really, really great. I've been looking for the perfect straight leg black leather trouser for a long time because for some reason they sold out everywhere, like in my size, in a petite range. Black leather trousers are sold out. So... I quickly picked this up before i think there was only like one or two sizes left so i'll try to find it and link it down below anyway but i got these in a size two i am going to be honest with these trousers for some reason the waist is slightly loose like maybe one finger loose you know when it's not like proper snug and you know it's slightly slipping that's the only thing that about it and it's annoying because it is a size two and usually i'm a size four in all of the plt's trousers and they fit perfectly so i don't really know why these don't fit me perfectly on the waist i wish they were a little smaller but i'll just like get it tailored in it's fine 
but yeah so they just look like this and then they're literally just a straight leg trouser and this is what they look like at the bottom just a straight they're not wide they're just like fitted straight leg trousers and these look super cute with boots as well oversized hoodies sweaters i mean you guys know you can literally wear these sort of trousers with anything um if you wanted to show the detail at the front then you can totally wear like a bodysuit tucked in yeah i've already been wearing that multiple times and then the next pair of trousers which you guys have already seen on my instagram and these got a lot of questions like i got a lot of dms asking about these trousers and for some reason they sold out like they were already sold out before i could even show you guys the link so they do have them in beige which i did link for you guys um so hopefully they'll come back in stock as usually h&m stuff do so they are these dark really dark khaki is it khaki forest green straight leg trouser so they look like this can you see the details let me get up and show you guys so that and they're just literally straight legs and they're not like i don't know how to explain the material because they're not like combaty cargo material like i don't know can you sort of see what i mean they're like a smarter version of a cargo trouser if that makes sense like you could totally dress these ones up because they're not like really casual i wore them with a white bodysuit and one of those knit sweaters that are just like the arm ones i'll insert the picture um but i've also worn it with a beige oversized hoodie as well but these were from the higher end range from h&m which is like the trend section, like the premium quality stuff. So they were, I'm pretty sure they were 39.99, um, but I got them for 30 pounds. And again, they do this in like a beigey, stony color, which is also nice as well. I do really like these, but I do feel like I'm gonna struggle on styling them other than the way I did wear them in the picture. So probably wasn't a smart move to be spending 30 pound on these trousers, but anyway. I love these. Oh, I got these in a size 34. What's 34? Is that a 6? Yeah, I got them in a size 6. I'm pretty sure they don't come in a size 4 anyway. But my mum actually tailored them in. Because the waist was actually pretty big. Um, I tailored in about two fingers from each side. So, yeah, they were quite big on the waist, but it's fine. The length is perfect though. Like with my Balenciaga, the length is actually perfect. So okay and then moving on to a pair of shoes these trainers have literally spoken about throughout this whole video and you would have seen these on me pretty much every single day because i love them they are the balenciaga track twos oh just look at them that's all i have to say like i don't really need to tell you how much i love these because just look at these trainers wow i feel like these are like marmite you either love them or you hate them i absolutely love them like i really like chunky trainers and i always have i love the triple s's i've had the triple s's like i just really like chunky looking trainers even though they make my legs look hella skinny but they go with everything and they always give me that platform that i need because i'm short so for long tr long trousers i can get away with not wearing petite trousers because of these trainers giving me that height but anyway i got these trainers quite a while back and let me tell you they take some time breaking into like i genuinely got worried thinking that i'm never going to be able to wear them again because the right foot was so painful like it just kept rubbing against my right foot and like cutting my skin um i do think i could have went a size up i got a size three which is my size in everything else but i think i could have went to a size four because my foot is right at the end but i have worn them quite a lot so i was like you know what it's fine like we'll just have to make it work but if i was to wear like thick like thick trainer socks my feet would be aching because then the trainer would be way too tight for me so i just wear my regular thin ankle socks um but yeah i absolutely love them i've loved, i've enjoyed styling them and i do not regret buying these okay and then today i actually received an order that i made at H&M. oh yes it matches 
Okay. I bought some split leggings. At, I want to say at the start of the year, like maybe in April. Um, and I'll show you them those leggings as well, even though they're not new. And I'll show you like how I styled them. But basically, H and M then came out with a matching sweater, and I was like, oh my god, even per like even better because I love colds. So I picked up this. Can we see this high neck? It's like a grey beige sweater, but it slits. Can you see that? It it cuts from the side and then I have the matching leggings which also split right at the bottom and I just know that this outfit is going to look so nice together I'm probably going to wear this tomorrow to be honest because I'm actually excited let me show you the leggings so these are the leggings I already own they're literally just exactly the same ribbed but then at the bottom they have like a really tiny split and I love wearing these with boots underneath and then you can just see the split on the boot. Again, I'll insert what it looks like on. So, do they match? Ah, oh, they kind of don't. Can you see the shade difference? This is the top. This is actually more lighter. Oh no, I wanted it to be like a perfect match. Regardless, they're both really nice pieces and obviously I wear these leggings all the time. And you could wear this sweater like with leather trousers as well, but I really wanted to wear it with this. Do you think that's gonna look stupid now if they're like a different colour? Well, uh, anyway, the jumper was twenty four ninety nine, the leggings were nineteen ninety nine, but they're pretty much sold out. Like there wasn't that much that even came into the store to begin with, and they sold out straight away. And even online, they went straight away. So I'm so glad that I picked them up straight away. But yeah, I'm, I'm going to try wearing them together and see what they look like. But if not, I always wear the leggings with like a blazer and a white tank top. And the sweater I can definitely wear with leather leggings um, and trainers. I really wanted to wear it as a cohort, so I am sad. Moving back to the chocolates, I picked up this brown gilet. I do adore this gilet. Um, I got it in the size medium i think it was yeah i got in a size medium because i liked it to be a bit more like oversized and not fitted the length was the same but like just a bit more out um because i want to wear it with like hoodies and stuff so i don't want it to be fitted um but it's also reversible so we've got the chocolate color and then because it has no label at the top it is reversible so we can also wear it this way and I paid $27.99 for this which I'm not gonna lie I mean it's a decent price but they had the same like cropped gilets in H&M for $14.99 but then saying that they were more structured um and I prefer this one because it's more like puffier and softer if that makes sense so it like looks better and it doesn't suffocate me or wipe my makeup off whereas those ones were so structured on the collar that my makeup would come off with it um, Okay, then we move on to some blazers. I picked up this houndstooth blazer from Misguided. I've just styled it with a sweater so that you can sort of like see it better. Um, so it looks like this. It's like a tweed looking blazer. These are the colours in it. And I've just styled it on the hanger with a knit top that I picked up from H&M. Um, which is actually also part of this haul so I'll show you guys that in a sec but yeah it's literally just a standard blazer with this and some straight leg leather trousers and boots will look super cute this fits really nice on the length as well it is oversized and I picked it up in the size 4 and it is called the oversized blazer houndstooth check um but I haven't worn it yet so I'm excited to wear this because again it's a little terminal and I thought even with the khaki boots that I showed you guys earlier on would look super nice with this blazer as well I also got this knit top which is from H&M it's like a, like a short knit top it is, has got big arms um, but that's because I picked up a size medium I think if I picked up a smaller size the armhole would be smaller so because it's deep I have to wear something underneath because it does show all of the side but I'm going to wear the blazer with it anyway so it's fine but this on its own with leather trousers and like a bodysuit underneath just to like cover 
the armhole is really cute. I put this in a medium and this was $14.99. This was pretty cheap to be honest for a knit top. Let me show you up close what it sort of looks like. Then I also got this H&M. There's a lot of H&M clothes in here, I know. But then I picked up this H&M blazer which is really oversized, like really like drowning oversized. But I really, I don't know why I really liked that in this blazer even though I wouldn't usually. Um, and I picked this in the extra small but it is massive and I will show you guys what it looks like on and this was expensive oops this was $59.99 um, because again it's from their trend section but it looks like this it's just a standard laser and like this would look super cute with mom jeans and a white bodysuit Again, leather if you wanted to wear it, or even the Bershka white jean. You could definitely dress this up or down. And you could even wear this as a blazer dress if you really wanted to. Like, you'd have to obviously add a top underneath, but you could wear it as a blazer dress. Um, but yeah, it is really, really big, but I really like this blazer. And I really like the colour of it because it's like a perfect beigey caramel. It's not too caramel. I really hate the colour caramel. I don't know why, but it's like a beigey Color. I picked up this blazer which you guys have seen on my Instagram but I'm showing you because the colour is so different. I don't know what possessed me to pick this but this was um, gifted but I really like it. Like I was trying to get my whole blazer collection up and like pick out different colours. So this is the olive leather blazer. I actually got this in the size 4 olive faux leather pocket detail blazer it does have shoulder pads which i'm not a fan of shoulder pads like i normally i like soft very soft ones like the other two that i showed you guys are very soft and not structured this one is definitely structured um i feel like it doesn't suit me because i feel like my face looks like it's drowning in the blazer but i don't know if you guys know you could actually you can actually take out shoulder pads if you just undo the stitching so that's what i really like I'm not fussed about it as such because I can just remove that but yeah I just think the colour of this is so nice it's so different for me anyway and then last but not least I picked up this misguided jumper which is giving very much Balenciaga vibes and I'm here for it I do really like this jumper I wore it once on my story everyone asked about it it's actually a very old jumper on their website like it's in their sales I'll try to find it for you guys again haven't actually taken any pictures in this. Well, I did, but I didn't like them. So, this is what it looks like. It just says misguided all over. I do wish it was a lot bigger because I wanted it to be really like oversized, whereas this is like a normal sweater length, like you know, just about like tucks into your jeans. But I did get this in a size 10 to 12, so definitely size up like three or four sizes if you want to get this in an oversized size because look how small that is. This is a 10 to 12 and it's just a normal length, like this is like a size 6 on me. But yeah, I really really like this. I did actually style this with black leather trousers, once again. And you could totally wear it with jeans, leggings, white sports leggings, anything really. Um, I haven't actually worn it again since that one time I tried to take a picture, so maybe I will try to recreate another image. But yeah, that brings me to the end of this what's new in my wardrobe video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you did, then make sure to let me know what your favourite piece was from this entire haul. Um, I apologise for not having like a try-on haul. It's just a lot of clothes to be trying on and... I mean it's hard for me to set up the camera trying to like get like the length of things so I've tried to like insert as many pictures as possible of the clothes on but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed anyway if you did then make sure to like comment and subscribe because we are nearly at 800 um and obviously the gold is a thousand yeah, so I shall see you guys in my next video bye guys